All right, so the number on your screen right now says just shy of 90 degrees. Ooh. Yeah, the heat is on. Let's just say that. That's what we're tracking in today's pinpoint weather alert. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraca keeping his cool in the weather center <laughs> despite tracking these hot temperatures. Hi, Tony. Hi. And it's not 90 everywhere. As always, you know, a lot of times this heat is very location dependent. And when you're closer to the ocean and the bay, it's a little cooler, not by much, but it is warm and humid all around. These temperatures are running a solid 15 degrees above average. We're looking at Newport behind me, which is uh, much cooler due to the ocean and the sea breeze. Take a look outside. Uh, with the hazy sunshine, you got a decent breeze in New Bedford. And while it's not 90 in New Bedford, it is around 82, but very humid, so it feels warmer. But you kick up the breeze, you get a little bit of it off the water, and it's a little more refreshing, whereas inland spots are in the upper 80s to lower 90s. 89 in Providence after reaching 91, 88 Smithfield, 86 Taunton. There's New Bedford at 82, and clearly an ocean influence down in Westerly and in Newport in the 70s. Though the beaches yesterday didn't have much of a sea so it was actually it was a lot warmer at the beach yesterday. But the heat continues, I would say, at least for a few more days, and especially for tomorrow. Inland, we will approach 90. That humidity is still high. While we may not hit 90 on Wednesday, still a very warm and muggy day. And one of the byproducts sometimes of heat and humidity, thunderstorms. We don't see too much right now, but on tomorrow afternoon and Wednesday, uh, during the afternoon and evening, the chance for a few scattered showers and some thunderstorms. Uh, we're not talking widespread, but because there's so much moisture in the air, the air is so muggy and humid that any showers that form have the potential to produce maybe a brief downpour. So that's something that we'll be watching. Relief uh, arrives on Thursday, not just cooler, but a big, big drop in the humidity as well. Locally on the satellite and radar composite, it is fairly quiet. They're tracking some scattered Thunderstorms outside of New York City, anticipating this to stay away. Here's the wider view, and the Bermuda High is in control. The circulation around the Bermuda High is such that it promotes this deep uh, flow of air out of the south and southwest. It's originating from both the Gulf of Mexico and the Bahamas. And the net result, not just very warm air, clearly that's in place right now, but also the high humidity levels, what we call the dew point. Anytime the dew point's in the upper 60s to low 70s, it is just, it's sticky, it's humid. You can definitely feel it. So it feels muggy. So we take a look at the, uh, the comfort factor here. And notice now through Tuesday and Wednesday, Wednesday, the dew points are very high, so it's quite humid. And then look at the drop in the dew point come Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It's very dry, very refreshing, so not as muggy. All right, let me step you through the forecast. Starting off this evening, watch the time bar right up in here. Warm and humid. Uh, because of the humidity, probably some fog along the coastline. 11 o'clock tonight, you need the air conditioner. Temperatures are still well into the 70s, very muggy. Tomorrow morning at 5.30, we're going to start off in the upper 60s to low 70s. And here we go again. The 90-degree temperatures are location dependent, essentially inland, upper 80s to low 90s, coastline in the 70s. See the blips of green? A passing shower or thunderstorm in between these showers, you have little splashes of sunshine. So just keep an eye to the sky. You need the sunscreen, you need the sunglasses, but also keep the umbrella on standby mid to late afternoon. Here we are tomorrow evening, warm and muggy. With temperatures in the 80s. Right, seven day forecast. Uh, perhaps not 90 on Wednesday, but it's still hot. I mean, it's 87. And again, watch for a scattered shower or a thunderstorm. Look at the temperatures on Thursday. Refreshing. That 77, Kim, is actually the average high for this time of year. So, very comfortable Friday, the coolest day of the week. And right now, the early call for next weekend is seasonally warm and refreshing with temperatures both Saturday and Sunday uh, in the 70s. So, the heat continues only this time around, next couple of days in the afternoon. I have to keep the eye to the sky for a Passing shower or thunderstorm. The latter half of that seven day is more in line with with, with what we would expect. Yeah, we should be around 77. This this is more like July and August. It certainly is. Yeah. All right, Tony. Thanks, yeah. Brian.